Knock, knock. Who's there? EGPU. EGPU who? Just this little guy making all your graphics dreams come true. Hello everyone, and welcome to DIY in 5. I'm Trisha Hirschberger, and last episode we chatted about building your own external SSD, and it got me thinking about what other nifty external upgrades are out there. A big one that's relatively new and not as well known is the eGPU, or external graphics card. Today we explore the world of eGPUs. What are they? And is one right for you? If the tips in this video give you pause in a good way, then go ahead and subscribe so you don't miss a beat. So you want to turbocharge your gaming frame rates, but you don't want to, or maybe physically cannot, put an actual GPU into your system. Perhaps an external GPU is the answer for you. EGPUs are still really new to today's tech scene, and most people have never even seen one in person. This is what it looks like. It's an external enclosure for a desktop-style video card that can plug into a laptop or other system to boost graphical performance. These things are pretty beefy. After all, they need to house the card itself, a power supply, probably some type of cooling, maybe a PCI Express slot to accept your video card of choosing. Some even come with a card pre-installed, like this model from Gigabyte. Now, why would you want one? Maybe you want to transform your laptop into a gaming powerhouse. Who doesn't want that? In olden times, your upgrade path would be shopping for a whole new laptop. Now the future is here, and we have the ability to upgrade graphic performance via an external solution. I mean, this is really exciting tech that has been lurking on the horizon for a while, but is finally consumer ready, to a degree. Because eGPUs are just starting to make it to market, they're not quite as plug and play as other externals, such as the hard drives we discussed in the last episode. You need to have the right laptop or system and a fair amount of cashola to make this dream come true. Oh. So what type of setup will you need? One with a high bandwidth, two-way connection, and for laptop users, a connection that's small enough to fit into that trim laptop profile. Yep, I'm talking USB-C. And not just vanilla USB-C, but USB-C with Thunderbolt 3 connectivity. Thunderbolt 3 is described as USB-C that does it all, and it boasts twice the throughput of USB 3.1 Gen 2. That's like two 4K video streams. It's new tech like Thunderbolt 3 that even makes something like an eGPU possible. Now don't reach for your wallet just yet, we still have more compatibility requirements to get through. The current eGPUs on the market have their own criteria for system compatibility. The Alienware graphics amplifier, for example, works with specific newer Alienware machines that have a special port and a super chunky cable capable of carrying the crazy amount of data necessary to make this magic happen. Other non-proprietary boxes like Razer's eGPU or PowerColor's Devil Box have their own lists of certified compatible laptops. Okay, so let's say you do have a compatible laptop and you're ready to take the plunge. Well, there are a few other things to be aware of. Boosting your system's graphical prowess alone may not be enough to run certain games that require, say, a certain number of processing cores. In this situation, your graphics performance could be limited by your processor's ability to keep up. Another thing to be aware of is frame rate penalty or overhead due to the connection itself. And depending on your combo of video card, eGPU enclosure, system, and display type, the performance gains you see might have some variation. So who here has actually messed around with one of these? Is there a specific model that you recommend? What did you think? Or did you fully try to DIY it? <laughs> Tell us your stories in the comments. I, for one, cannot wait for this tech to be adopted and further refined. As a primarily PC-based gamer, the more options I have to continuously bolt on upgrades, the better. Again, this is cutting edge stuff, so if you want more information on external GPUs and the options currently out there, we've left you some handy dandy links in the description. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time with more DIY in 5.